Because when you talk about the technology boom, look from 1900 to 2000. We went from horse and buggy to dropping nuclear bombs <laughs> yeah. to, I don't know if the smartphone was invented by 2000, but the internet came into play. And like, like you said, like life was pretty much how it was for a long time. And then out of nowhere, it was just boom. Yeah. Like, just like that. So it's like now with these phones, it's almost like, all right, let's, now let's give them this. Yeah, let's like they're slowly a, breaking off, uh, breaking us off a little piece of more, more, more. I'm going into way deep territory on this one, but David Icke, who's a huge uh, conspiracy theorist. Oh, I England. love listening to conspiracy theorists, man. Uh, I find he, it so fascinating. He's one of those guys where, <laughs> kind of like Alex Jones in a way, in his own way, like yeah. maybe said some stuff. You're like, what the heck is this dude talking about? But then he said some stuff where I'm like, he wasn't wrong about that. <laughs> He was talking about social media, and it, it started to make sense. He's like, think about it in the beginning of it. Uh, there were no restrictions, really. You know, it's free. It's still pretty much free for the most part to be on it. But they just they wanted you on there. Get on. Now, now everyone's hooked. Everyone's hooked. Now he's like, look at all the censorship that's come out lately with it. And look how they've – and they know you're hooked. So – it's interesting how this like machine, if you will, that we're all connected to, that most people, I say most. Now, there's some people that could quit it cold turkey and be done with it forever. But dude, there's people, man, I'm telling you, they will not be able to let that thing go. Oh, like, yeah. If you take their smartphone away from them and social media, they will survive, but like they are going to go crazy. Yeah. Because it's their pacifier. It's their, uh, and I use it as that too sometimes. Like, oh, yeah. Yeah. Especially, but, you know, in a weird social circumstance where you don't want to feel awkward. Oh, yeah. I guess I'll. But, oh, yeah. but I think we're seeing it unravel because you don't know what you're looking at, man. And, and like when it comes to real serious issues that are out there, you don't know if what you're looking at is the truth or not the truth, but so many people, it doesn't matter on what side of something you believe in. When you're so emotionally invested in that, of course, if something's for what you believe, you're going to be all about it. If you're if something you're against, it's going to put you in a rage. In the book I've mentioned on here before, the top, top 10 reasons you should delete your social media accounts by Jared Rainier. Um, Sorry if I mispronounced his name, but he talks about how the algorithm will recognize, like, for example, if you're a Republican, you take a Republican and you take a Democrat, and they see that you look at nothing but Republican stuff. You like nothing but Republican stuff. And on the Democrat, you like nothing but Democrat stuff. They're going to feed into your feed. It's confirmation anti bias. Confirmation bias. Exactly. They're going to show you things on the Republican side that are going to confirm that you're right, the Democrats are wrong. For the Democrats, it's going to show that they're right and the Republicans are wrong. Dude, at first, when I heard, it, I'm like, yeah, you know, but dude, I think it's clear as day now. I'm oh, like, that's exactly what's happening. It's absolutely true, and each person has their own little device that 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 just creates the things that's just catered for them to keep them hooked on it as long as possible. Which is, it's it's not even it's 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 not even like a theory. Uh, there was that doc documentary that came out a few years ago. I think it was called uh, the Social Dilemma. Yeah, that was good. So, oh man, that one was so depressing. And because. at the end, the kid gets all fired up because they're firing him up on social media. Then he actually goes out there and gets in a situation he shouldn't have been in, you know? Yeah. yeah. It, it's really, uh, it's done some good things, but generally speaking, I don't really feel like my quality of life is higher since the advent of social media. I mean, and I'm thinking from the time MySpace came on to now, I don't. I, I I I feel like there's also there's kind of been a deterioration actually in general quality of life since these things came about. And again, there's some beautiful things that have come with it. I wouldn't be able to have a relationship with my girlfriend if it wasn't for social media and the technology that's come with it, the dating apps and stuff, and being able to video chat with somebody who lives across the world. It's beautiful. Podcasting. But, <laughs> podcasting. Virtually, yeah. But I mean, the, just like the social media stuff, it's, I'll find myself I, as, as, as vigilant as I feel like I am when it comes to guarding myself against that. Because you talked about it earlier, just watching what we ingest, 
Like I, I, I can't stand the thought of me just scrolling down this thing and these images being put into my head that are going to play out in my subconscious in some form or way that I have no control over. Mm. I fucking hate that. I, I, I hate, I hate, I hate the loss of, of uh, autonomy, uh, autonomy of the mind. I hate it. And I'm like, okay, well, what's, what do I do then? Do I just go full ignorance mode? Because sometimes I feel like that, especially with news and politics and the way the world's going. I'm like, there's this desire to be informed, but there's also a desire to be happy. And I've found that I'm a lot more happy when I'm ignorant to what is going on in the world. And especially politics. Ignorance is bliss, man. It really is. It really, it is. really is. And it's funny. Like I'll see some people dog on people and fucking doesn't even know what's going on. I'm like, good for them. Good for them. You know, I, I, I again, I, I don't know where, where what the balance is because. Because you want to be like, look, if a meteor is coming tonight. Yeah. And there's a chance I can get out of here. Well, good luck for where we're at right now. <laughs> it is what it is. Yeah. We're, 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 we're going to podcast till the end. Yeah, if that's yeah, the case. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, but, but it's like, yeah, you want to be informed. But then it's like, what's that? I, I love what you're saying. Because like, what's that line of getting the information you need? And then overkill of now you're not even getting the right information. And in regards to the right information, yeah. what it's like we're now in this weird realm where there's like almost no such thing as truth. Mm. I mean, there is. There is, but it's almost like everybody has their own their own truths that they're abiding to that's true for them. And I'm like, it's so like, everyone's an expert too if you yeah, didn't know. yeah like everyone yeah well and if you look at like uh like with like the like israel hamas stuff it's like you watch you sit down and watch an hour of one point of view on it you'll be convinced of that you sit down and watch an hour of the other point of view you'll be convinced of that i'm like I, the, the truth is like we're with all this like just information that's being pushed on us uh, truth is hard to come by 